Oh, there's so much that excites me about personalized learning from a teacher's standpoint. I love that I have 85 students that come to my room every day and I have to find a way to reach them. And with personalized learning, I'm able to reach the students who are above grade level, the students who are below grade level, the students who are ELLs, who are on IEPs. These students come to me every day and I have to find a way to teach them the content for the sixth grade. And with personalized learning, I'm able to do that. When my students first came to me this year, they weren't really pushing themselves to do things on their own. They wanted everything handed to them, they wanted to be spoon-fed information, and personalized learning has pushed them away from that to where now they're starting to be problem solvers, they're starting to answer questions on their own and look for the answers to questions on their own without having to come to me and say, Ms. Watson, I need your help with this, I need your help with this. They know that there's places and resources that they have where they can go to try and find the answers for themselves. And I think that's the goal with personalized learning is just to push students to be problem solvers. Currently my students are working on an energy playlist. This is the second playlist that they've done this year. And the first time we did it, it was a little bit tougher for them because they had to really be independent and they got to choose their own path, but that was hard for them at first. And this is the second time I brought the playlist in and now they're all really excited about it and they just want to work on it all the time. So they're really starting to take that initiative and um, be more responsible in their learning and take the lead in their learning, which is really exciting to see. Okay, this year with the advent of blended learning, I, I have to admit at first I was thinking, okay, here's the next newest thing. But once I tried and failed a couple of times, uh, I see the value in it. And not only that, my students see the value. They like knowing I'm going to be doing one or two different things today that's going to enrich what I'm supposed to learn for this curriculum, for the content. We are focusing on genetics and heredity at this time, and they're very excited about it, but it can be challenging. So the energy that I feel, give me more information. They're extending now, they're learning on projects, and they are taking Punnett Squares, Mendel's research to the next level, and I've never seen that prior. It was the rote, they want to copy and paste, give me the basics. Now they are telling me and explaining to me exactly what these processes are, what they do, how they affect how we look, how we grow, how we think, and that's amazing to me. After 14 years of teaching, I'm pretty excited about this process. I'm looking forward to seeing how it works into my next unit, which is huge and difficult. So I'm excited about this process.